All right, welcome back. Uh, in the last few videos, we've been building out our GUI. And uh, <clears throat> in the last one, what we did is we added this table view object. And we said it's great because we have, we have some dummy data in here. And we can sort it based on different criteria. Um, but let's say I wanted to actually edit it. I want to be able to double click on a cell and change the name of Frank Sinatra to be, I don't know, uh, I don't know, Fred Sinatra, something like that. Um, in order to, uh, to do that, we have to make some changes in our controller to allow for that functionality to happen. So let's go into our controller and set that up. So I'm in the controller here for a table view controller. And if you do, haven't watched the previous videos, I would say uh, watch them first before watching this one. Otherwise, you might be a bit lost. Um, but what we'll do here is we'll, we'll create a method. This method will allow. So we have to do it on a per column basis. And I'm going to say public void change first name cell event. And inside here, when you do edit a cell, it triggers something called a cell edit event. So we'll, uh, we'll capture that. I'll call it the edited cell. And first things first, we need to get the actual record uh, of the person that we're editing. So um, again, if we go into our, uh, our view here, each of these are instances of person objects, right? We created some dummy people, not, not dumb people, but dummy people here, some dummy data, right? So we said they're new person objects. So we had Frank Sinatra, Rebecca, and Mr. T. So <clears throat> when, when I go to double click on this first cell or this one here, we have to select this object and we're gonna update that object and save it. So to do that, we have to select our object. So let's go here. And I'm gonna say the person, and it'd be the person selected. And then we can refer to our table. And we can get the selected item, okay? so. This, this command here is going to return a person object. So when you click on one of the rows, it's going to return, or sorry, one of the first name cells, it'll return this uh, selected item, this person as an object. And then we have to update it. So we're going to say person selected. And then we can call the set first name method, right? And we may have to change this to be a string. So we're going to say edited cell. We get the new value. So whatever's whatever's uh, in the cell, right? Remember we when we double click on a cell, we get this cell edit event. So here, we'll get the value, and then we'll convert that oops, to a string. Now the problem is our set first name method was expecting a simple um, <clears throat> simple string property to be passed in. So let's go into our person class and just pass it in as a string. And here we'll say new simple string property. So again, the, the whole reason that we have to treat it as a simple string property instead of uh, just a basic string is because when we want the table uh, to react to these changes, this, this kind of wrapper class, this simple string property class, um, gives us all the functionality of a string plus some extra things that work with the table. And let's do the same thing with the last name because we know we're gonna have that same issue. So I'm gonna say string and make it new. Okay, so now let's go back into our controller and we're gonna do the same thing here, but we'll do it for the last name column. 
And in here, we're going to say set last name. And that's all we need to do on the controller side. Then we go into Scene Builder. Let's just go to our table view and Scene Builder. Now I can click on the column. And you see here, there's things that you can do. So on Edit Start, so if I first click on the cell, what do I want to do? On Commit, so if I hit the Enter key, what do I want it to do? Or on Cancel, uh, if I hit the Escape key, what do I want it to do? So in this case, whoops, <laughs> leave the drop down here. And this is a first name. So I said change first name cell event. So if I hit the commit, I want to up call this method. And I'll do the same thing with the last. Change last name cell event. And then I'll hit file, save. And we'll go back into NetBeans here. Let's run our program and see if that changes. It did not. All right, let's try a little clean and build here. Sometimes that helps as well. Oops, sorry. It's still not letting us do it. So um, there's one little thing I must be missing. And Let's see here. Oh yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't set the columns to be editable, so that's why uh, we're having that problem. So I'll go to the initialize method, uh, which we had down here at the bottom. So load the dummy data, and then in here, I'm going to say uh, update table to allow for the first and last name. So we'll make the whole table view editable. And then we have to do the specific columns as well. So I'm going to say first name column. Set the cell factory, the text field, table cell, okay, so basically when I double click on it, it's going to create a little text field, um, right, so that's what this is, it'll create a little text field in that cell till I hit enter, and then it will uh, call our method uh, to commit the change. And we'll do the same thing for the last name column. Let's save. So now Rebecca can be, I don't know, Bridget. When we hit enter, it saves it. And Mr. T can now be Mr. Thomas. And it saves it. So there you have it. I'm going to uh, upload this to GitHub now. And if, uh, if you have any challenges with it, refer to the, the, uh, the GitHub repository. And you should be able to figure it out. If we go again uh, in GitHub, all you have to do is search on Jarrett Wright, click on repositories, you'll see the GUI demo in here, and you can go in and you can actually pull up the source file that we just worked on. Uh, so here's our controller that we just worked on. If we go to the bottom, we'll be able to see here's where we updated uh, the ability to edit the table. All right, thanks for joining in.